Hey Scorpio, welcome to your general love read. This is for the first half of April. However, time is fluid. Whenever you come to this, just imagine that it's for the next few weeks, okay? So if you are new here, welcome. I am intuitive. So some of what I'm getting from your guides and my guides are not going to be traditional for the tarot card. So just take it as it resonates and leave the rest. Um, this could be reversal roles, okay? If you've been carrying along baggage from someone from the past, that's what could be coming through. Or if there's someone moving towards you, that could be what's coming through. Or third party BS, right? Okay? So I'm going to start by pulling out cards for the collective. And then I will pull out intention for the reading. And then we will get started, all right? Spirits like singing to me. It's giving, you know, that song was it. Like they're just wanting to get started, okay? And they're like, it's hot in here. Let's get started. All right. So. It has been the weirdest, weirdest day. I don't know if that resonates for any of you, but it has been the weirdest, weirdest day. Okay. It's been a good day, but it's been just, just strange energies. Okay. So for the collective, all right, listen to your gut, especially about where you may be being stubborn. Okay. Where is it that you've planted yourself in place, not allowing yourself to move forward, even though it's hurting you to stand there? Okay, I feel like that's an important message that a lot of people are getting right now. It's, it's a little more of a collective, more, more than just for Scorpio. But in your gut, you know when you need to move forward on something. But for whatever reason, I feel like Perhaps it is the collective feeling of having been locked down for so long where people are just struggling to move forward, okay? Now, for the reading, the intention, okay? Thunder. Na, 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 na. Okay, so you're burning down something and it's very personal because this tower is your body. Okay. This tower is your body and you are evicting the beliefs and the judgments and the rules and regulations that are no longer serving you so that you can come into balance. Okay, now, unfortunately, it's making you deal with a whole lot of intense energies and emotions that are coming up for you from the past. But understand that that's good because you're going to clear them out. <laughs> okay, you can be rid of it. Okay, so we're going to look at your overview energy. We are going to look at, instead of the past, Spirit would like me to look at the energy that is an obstacle or blocking your movement forward. Looking at your current energies and then possible outcome and advice moving forward. Okay. So overview. Ooh, my goodness. So, wow. Okay. That tower is very prominent and the old energies, super prominent like that. Spirit's like, one more time, let me reiterate for you. Okay. You have been holding yourself in place, not speaking your truth, stuck somewhere that you are not supposed to be and it's created this tower energy okay and you passionately know 
what you want to do to stand up for yourself and move forward, but you are not doing it. Okay, so what is blocking you? What is the obstacle here? What is that energy? You may struggle with taking care of yourself. Okay, you may take care of everyone else's needs first. Yeah, okay. And you could fear like, if I move on from this, this person, I'm going to miss out on something. There's a feeling that there won't be a second chance. Okay, I just got chills. But, okay, so bottom of the deck, they really want me to talk about this. The Empress, okay, Ace of Wands, Ten of Wands, what does it move to? Queen of Cups and the Lovers. Okay, Spirit is saying here, you know that when you are in your power and you are moving forward, okay, you will be provided for. But you have to move forward. You can't be provided for if you don't move forward. When you move forward, you're going to get into a lot of emotions that you probably don't want to get into, but it's okay because what you're going to get is love and a very divine partnership. Okay? So... Let's look at the current energies. <laughs> so we've got a lot to talk about today. Okay. You actually, here's the thing. Okay. I feel like by current energies, spirit is like really talking about the energy right freaking now. Because it's coming out as almost like, oh, well then I'm really happy that whatever cycle I'm in is about to end. Okay. Love that. Future energy. Okay. You're going to have to make a choice. Okay. Two of swords. Queen of Swords in reverse. And there's the problem. You don't want to cut this second chance out. Okay. Yeah. Spirit says you just need the advice. Is that you just need that inner strength. Okay. So let's go ahead and let's clarify. Round one. Ding, ding. All right, so let's look at this tower. You do really love someone here, okay? And um, I feel like the tower is about learning to love yourself. Self-love is the most important love. Okay, crossed by the Queen of Wands in reverse. So you are more than a body. Okay, you are more than um, the passion within this connection. And it's important for you to understand that. Okay, yeah, you've got to find the balance between the two. Okay. And it's really interesting because they showed me in my head, there is, there's a, a woman I know, okay, and she lives outside of Mexico City, and she's a mom, and she, you know, she's around my age, a little bit older maybe, but her daughter passed away last year very unexpectedly and so it was a really hard struggle for her to 
allow herself to open her heart back up, to love herself, to take care of herself, to be very connective. And I almost feel like what they are showing me her for is that for some of you, you lost something in this life. And because of that, maybe you didn't, maybe you detached yourself from this ability of self-love. And you really found that when you were very passion-driven and purpose-driven, that you felt in power. And so it's about balancing the two out. You can be powerful and love yourself. Okay. The devil, okay, yeah, it's taking care of yourself. Four of Swords, rest and rejuvenation here, okay? Breaking free from the go, 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 the do, do, do for everyone but yourself. Yeah, it's crossed by your own energy, death. Okay, you have to go through this rebirth. You have to let yourself find the love for yourself. Find that passion. Okay. Yeah, go back and reclaim that soul. Reclaim yourself from the place where that, that little child, that inner child lives. Where they just ended up being all alone. Okay. So, the obstacle here. All right. Judgment. Again, you are struggling to choose for your best health, for your best you. And part of this is that you're just trying to be very patient for someone to connect. Okay. Giving them the time to become the person you want them to be. Yeah. Okay. You believe that this is your divine soulmate and they could be definitely a soulmate but it's become two of, of cups here in reverse very much more karmic than anything you may even have family with this person or it's just because of the way that you grew up that you're trying to let them grow and have this second chance okay because of the, that stability, that Ten of Pentacles. But Spirit is saying, really look at what is the real reason, what's the real thing that's keeping you, I mean, really dragging you, holding you back while the universe is trying really hard to pull you forward. So... Hey, the sun, you're happy because there's going to be movement forward, okay? And perhaps you didn't even think that that was possible. You're happy because there may be other connections out there. And perhaps you had not thought about that, okay? You're happy because all of a sudden, all of this started happening and codes started activating, within your body, okay? And you are suddenly feeling this inner knowing that there is a greater purpose that you are fulfilling, okay? And this cycle is about realizing that there are many wishes, many hopes, many desires, okay, available for you, and that you are just getting started, okay? You're just starting to turn, you're in that hungry caterpillar energy where you're like learning, 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 okay? But you're almost two because I've got that in the overview, that four of swords, that rest and recovery. I feel like you're just about to the point where you're like, whoo, now I can start resting and turn into this chrysalis, okay? to start this major transformation. And Seven of Cups, 
realizing that there are other options. Okay, and there's the balance again. Okay, and I feel like this is important. They really want me to focus on this for you. Okay, so do you see the shadow and the light? Okay, the balance. You're fine, you've got to find the balance between the passionate being that you are that is very physically and emotionally driven and for some of you very power driven and the part of you that wants and needs love but in loving yourself that's how you find the balance okay so future energy here okay We've got the King of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords. All right, and the Three of Wands. So you have to make a decision here. And I feel like um, Queen of Swords could be you in that power-driven energy where you have been like a partner to this power-driven king. But it also could be that you have two choices, two people here, okay? Two sort of paths here. The one is more grounded and stable. The other one is more exciting and, um, driven just like in the same way as you and as soon as you start loving yourself suddenly the paths will become much more clear and we've got the queen of swords in reverse right here right so i do feel that's the breakthrough is realizing that Either that you don't need to be the Queen of Swords anymore or realizing that the Queen of Swords is not the path that you want and desire. So tell me more about this Queen of Swords here. Yeah, okay, the Queen of Swords does not offer you a stable new beginning. It's more of the playing the game. Okay. And it can be any gender here. And then we move right into the strength. Okay. Your strength, I feel like, is in realizing that you no longer want to play the game. And the strength, what is it offering you? Clarity, crossed by victory, okay, realizing that you can follow your passion and still win, but in a very different way. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Ace of Cups, okay, so I do feel like you're moving in a very different way, and that Ace of Cups is really loving yourself so let's look below the surface at some of this okay so let's look at the rebirth here the rebirth here is the king of swords okay and the Ace of Cups. You could have someone new coming in and someone old that you're trying to either release from your thought processes or that you're trying to just get away from. Okay, King of Swords here, very controlling, very like in their head. Um, not very communicative and 
yet still very passionate because look at all the fire here and that's what you like the passion 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 right but when you start loving yourself what do you want and desire love <laughs> okay emotions and that's this rebirth is going to call in i feel like the king of pentacles So you could be in, doesn't matter your gender, you could be in a very passionate connection where you're not really fulfilling your need for love and someone very stable, very grounded, who is passionate because the king of pentacles run, can run an empire, right? So is very passionate, but is very grounded and stable and you know, can come in as the caregiver, the lover, the provider. Yeah, and so this has been a secret that you didn't even know existed, that you had all of this desire for this passion and everything to reside within a cup. Okay. So on the obstacle here. Okay. Yeah. Again, you're waiting patiently for this person, most likely the King of Swords. And you're also very much in your head, Nine of Swords. Okay. About the walking away, the abandonment, right? You may not even realize that someone is already starting to open their heart and manifest you. Okay. Or you doing that for them. Yeah. Okay. Three of cups. You may have a fear of leaping ahead to where you need to be. And so the universe is going to turn up the heat because it's lovely because this three of cups is actually like the third strength card. So you could be dealing with a Leo here. Okay. But turning up the, the water, turning up the heat so that you more or less, you're going to be forced to leap ahead. Because the universe is dragging you. Right? You're like, nope, I am not opening up. I am not doing nothing. I am not moving. You cannot make me move. Yeah, okay. I'm staying right here in this space. But the more you sit and become quiet, the more this Queen of Wands starts to change and the heart starts to open and the love starts to pour in. So the temperance is actually, and the resting is actually creating an energy, right? That you don't even see happening. And the more you get into that energy, <laughs> someone needs to hear this, okay? then the more you're going to realize why am I waiting for this second chance when I just need to get out of the hot water and leap ahead. Okay, the inner knowing here, two of pentacles, is that you're feeling yourself unraveling from this tight, passionate energy that you had all the way around you and as such it's like shedding your skin I love this it is like shedding your skin so that you can release the old idealisms you had about the cup I mean look at that that's beautiful and that knowing, right, is you going back to the past, the moon chariot, okay, and healing that inner 
part of yourself so that you can move into that happiness and be like, yeah, now I can move forward. Now I can see my wishes. Now I am slowly seeing that I'm moving ahead to this beautiful emotional space and moving away from somebody who just wants to play games. And for some of you, it could be that that's literally what this person does. And with the Six of Swords here, with the Six of Pentacles, it's a cat and mouse game. Okay, and this person is playing games. So like you text them and they're like, nope, now I've got to make you wait. Okay, and you're realizing that doesn't, I don't have anticipation for you because you made me wait. I'm just pissed off. <laughs> and if you didn't make me wait and you sent me the text and you were like, oh, I got your text. And, oh yeah, you just wait and see what these hands do with you later, okay? Yeah, you're going to leap at that. Not if they wait, you know, 10 hours and then they're like, oh, sorry, babe, I was playing some games with the dudes or whatever, you know, or, you know, oh, sorry, honey, I was out shopping and you know, getting some sexy lingerie. Well, I don't care if you're getting the sexy lingerie. Like I wanted to have dinner <laughs> and then I would have not cared about the sexy lingerie and we could have had dessert together. But it's a gameplay, okay? So King of Pentacles here, okay? It's going to be a divine tower. <laughs> Love it. Okay, realizing that what you've been wishing for is not actually what you wanted, that you wanted something different. Yeah, all right. You wanted somebody that was secure enough to realize when they're in their ego, right? To see their blessings, to take stock in everything, to sit, be able to sit and look at what they've created, okay? And be open about it. And what you've been getting is someone that what they have offered you is passion, hiding their emotions, and a lot of pain. Yeah, okay, you're done with that. But look, you are getting a real second chance for someone that is, right? That true partner. This is everything you have wished for and dreamed for. Okay, coming to you. And with the Four of Cups, it's actually because you've been, you know, dealing through this and healing through this. And this Four of Cups in this deck is not about the obsession. It's about the wishing and the angels of the four directions hearing you and sending you what you truly wanted and needed. So let's get a few cards from the universe, okay? Wow. Yeah, when you break away from the ego and the secrets and you finally see that sunshine, right? Like you're like, oh yeah, now I can move forward. You do move forward. And where you're moving forward to is a higher level connection. Okay? Leaving behind all the flame, all the passion, but you're moving out onto the emotions. Okay? And it offers you everything. <laughs> okay? So let's go ahead and get a couple of Oracle cards. And then I'm going to move to the Extended. 
And I'm gonna ask a favor this week. If you watched this far, please click on the like button. Or if you hated the reading, click on the dislike, whatever. I'm just trying to look at analytics and that will help me because I'm trying to figure out why some videos um, get two views and others will get like 500 views overnight, okay? Because I name them all the same exact way. Whatever I see in the reading, that's how I name it. So I don't, I looked, I don't really see any difference in that. So I'm trying to figure out the YouTube. The YouTube UU. You, you. Like woo woo UU. You, you. I don't know. Their own little form of, of hooey. All right. And I'm going to leave you a little sneak peek of the extended. And if you want to join, my community is on Patreon. And so if you join at the beginning of the month, you get an entire month of all of the extendeds, all of the Monday through Friday you versus them readings. And my twice a month, I'm doing a um, shamanic circle. It's very integrative. It's not really a workshop because we're all working together. And to heal some of the shadow work, okay? So, you get great achievement, okay? Yeah, this new beginning is, I feel like a reckoning is what they're telling me. A reckoning that you are worth far more than you were allowing yourself to have, okay? To really come into that sense of knowing of your own self-worth, okay? And rhythm, tune into the natural rhythm of life, okay? And yes, the passion can be a part of it, but it's not all of it. It's just meant to keep you warm. It's meant to keep you warm and to light things up. But that natural rhythm, right? That's the heart and the heart requires emotions. Okay. So I'm going to move to the extended. I'm going to leave you with that sneak peek. Everything you need to connect with me is down below. Okay. So much love, guys. I hope that this helped you, and I hope to see you next time. All right? Bye. Okay, Scorpio. Let's see what the lessons are that you are learning here, okay? Through all of this. Yeah, resisting your true self here. Resist, okay? You are opposing an energy by creating the illusion of separation. I am pushing away or running from energies that I feel within this. Okay, so you've been running away from your own emotions. All right. Or confusing emotions and passion. Okay, which are slightly different things. So if... The person that you are thinking of, okay, if they could say something to you right now, what would they say? You cannot stop me from leaving, okay? This person does what they want, when they want, how they want. Okay, I walked away when your love scared me. So they don't know how to have that emotional give and take with you. Even if they want it, they just don't know how.